welcome back so excuse me i literally have just woken up i still have my sleepy voice but today i thought i'd bring you guys along because i'm feeling a little bit meh i've got my period i'm a little bit sad you know how it goes if you saw my last video you will see that i'm dealing with a few things that i'm trying to get started at the moment so it is kind of affecting my mood overall so i thought today we're gonna make it all about me basically i'm gonna bring you guys along today and show you what i do when i'm sad and what i eat when i'm sad and basically i'm just gonna try and do things to make myself feel a bit better Yes, I've got a dirty sock on my hand, okay? Okay, so I feel like I need to have a breakfast that's gonna keep me going, give me energy and not make me feel like I want to go back to bed, basically. So we're gonna have porridge, so I'm gonna have some of the Cavanaugh's instant oats and then I've just got my soy milk as well So I'm gonna cook it on the hob because our microwave is currently broken and we need to get a new one So right, so we're gonna do two heaped spoons of porridge. Four little scoops of this Two and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you're away to go. I don't like my porridge like watery, like I kind of like my porridge a little bit dry. Like I feel like people have this thing about porridge, like it's either one extreme or the other, but for me it has to be kind of like tacky. You know what I mean? You don't want no loose milk in there, you know what I'm saying? I hate these stringy bits on bananas. Do you know what? I actually recently saw that monkeys also take the stringy bits off bananas and that made me so happy. This looks disgusting, but this is literally my favorite way to have porridge. So we've not got any runny. Yeah, you always see these food diary Fridays and like their food looks so presentable. Like I'm here like, so breakfast today, kids. I'm also just gonna take a little square of this maple syrup and put it over my porridge as well. Do you know the little dial in the fridge? What, you can choose how cold your fridge is. Somebody turn that up to five. And now my smoothie, what I was gonna have with my breakfast, it's frozen. Like. This is from Aldi and these smoothies are amazing. So this is the strawberry and banana one. You can get like a full smoothie for only 150 and you get five servings in this. But mind you, I did drink a full one of these yesterday. So it depends who you're asking, how many servings you get, if you, you know. Let's see if we can get a glass out of this. So one serving, Jessica, one serving. Will... Oh, it's working. Like if you see that, the bottom of it is like a brick. This is the one I had yesterday and you can actually see like the exact ingredients. So they'll give you a rundown of exactly what is in the smoothie and then the one i'm having today in the smoothie is so it's literally such a good way to get like one of your five a day in if you are bad with your five a day like i am um, i just want to say that obviously i'm absolutely fine like i am fine but you know there's just been quite a bit going on lately and i feel like if we're feeling a certain type of way we should let ourselves feel that certain type of way because like having emotions and feelings is all part of being a human being and if you're constantly like trying to like push them aside and not deal with them they're just eventually going to come and bite you back in the ass so that's why i thought it'd be nice today to just try and do things where when i get to the end of the day i'm like you know what that was a good day okay so now it's time to cleanse our body soul and mind body is cleansed honestly i feel a lot better after that shower i don't know what it is but whenever i'm having a shower i always just imagine like the water is like washing all the bad shit off me and i always come out feeling like a new woman and i also i have tan on this is like day i don't know i've had this on for quite a while now i need to like scrub it off soon but like having tan is another thing that makes me feel like a powerful motherfucking woman okay so now we're going to make ourselves look a little bit more presentable and ready to take on the day because i feel like anytime i stay in my pajamas it just makes me feel worse and i'm more likely to not do a whole bunch so, so my outfit of choice today is from fabletics so as you guys know i am a brand ambassador and something that does cheer me up so much is getting my fabletics package in the post every month so i'm wearing this little um off the shoulder sports bra and like what i love about this is it's irreversible so you can use it on both sides so it's like two sports bras in one so the other side is just like this tie-dye kind of 
the color and then i've got on these kind of snake skin print leggings which i love and they are so comfortable and i want to do a little bit of stretching and maybe go for a walk because it's a beautiful day i feel like getting outside and just appreciating all that the world has to offer can really like bring your brain into a bit of a brighter place i'm just going to put on a little bit of bb cream because that always kind of makes me feel a little bit more confident in myself because i am having a few breakouts at the moment because i am on my period um and just like a little bit of stress or whatever my skin is so sensitive to my feelings if you sign up to become a vip member with fabletics you can get two leggings for 24 pounds or you can get a full outfit for 50 percent off i'll leave the link in my description box if you guys would like to go and sign up i'm just quickly going to show you guys some of the pieces i picked up this month um, because I feel like it's so much better when you can actually see clothes on like a real moving body It always makes me like I can see the clothes a lot better when somebody's like moving and kind of walking around what rather than just like a model who's like stood still on a website I'm so obsessed with their cycling shorts for this time of the year and summertime like they're so comfortable and they're so stylish Like I actually can't get over how stylish their active wear is Even when I'm on my period I can still wear these and feel so comfortable in myself whereas beforehand I could have never worn active wear on my period because I always found them very uncomfortable but Fabletics actually make me feel a lot more confident when I'm on my period because they just kind of like suck everything in that little bit and they just make me not feel so bloated and so like a big period blob do you know what I'm saying so when you sign up to become a VIP member all the control is in your hands so you can skip the month by the fifth of every month if you don't want anything that month or else you can cancel your account and your membership at any time but when you sign up you will get such amazing and discounts compared to regular memberships so you'll get deals like two leggings for 24 pounds when a lot of their leggings range from like 50 pounds upwards to like 70 80 pounds we're definitely getting your money's worth i can tell you that i've also already washed my fabletics quite a few times and they wash so well they dry so well like i'm just obsessed so first i think i'm gonna do a little stretch and then we're gonna go for a walk and that's something i love about fabletics as well is I just feel like when I put on one of their sets, I want to get my body moving. Whereas, you know, if you don't feel good in something, you're less likely going to go out for your walk or go out and do your bit of exercise because you don't feel good in yourself. Like, I know if I just throw on a big pair of oversized tracksuit bottoms and a big, huge hoodie, I just feel like a gremlin. So I'm probably not going to go and do my exercise. But when I feel like a cute little cupcake, like, yeah, I'm going to get outside like hell yeah. I forgot to take my vitamins this morning. so I I just take a multivitamin um a probiotic so this is the probiotic i take it's just bio cult and then i also take one of these acne out supplements so they're kind of for your skin and they've got a lot of good um different ingredients which are great for your skin you make me wanna pop a pill you make me wanna lose control Like, I cannot tell you how amazing that felt. I feel like I've been so tight recently. Why is there a man? Okay, there is a man running here with his top completely off. Like, if we did that, double standards do my freaking head in. Like, men have nipples and so do we. The only difference is that we have a big ball of fat behind them nipples. Like, that is the only difference. So why can they run and walk and sprint and skip around with no top on? But if we, God forbid, even show a bit of the fat behind the nipple, all hell breaks loose. All hell. <laughs> I'm honestly not a big reader myself, but 
something that has helped me for years and still does really help me is reading law of attraction books and i could not recommend this one enough but i just want to read you out the first paragraph that i opened the book on today because i feel like it's important for everyone to hear especially if you're also having a day where you're feeling a little bit each low. one of us is born with a unique life purpose we are all here for a reason and we are all here to serve each other we are like individual cells in a body, each of us performing our own unique functions and collectively serving the being as a whole. A life of purpose is not only a true expression of who you really are, it is your gift to the world and the world needs what you have to offer. Let me say that again. The world needs what you have to offer. The world needs what you have to offer. It's so true. Like we are all here for a reason. Like you were not put on this earth as an accident. You were not here by mistake. You have got purpose in this world and even though there are days where you might feel like you've no purpose or you're useless or you're hopeless and you're going nowhere that's not true and you need to always come back and remind yourself of that like you have so much to offer the world and the world needs you we need you that has just made me feel so inspired and like emotional because like it's just it's so fucking true Backpack, water, check. Headphones, check. Camera, check. Adventure time, check. just home and I had to change I was so sweaty it literally feels like 30 degrees out there it is so warm and like I went on a walk it's actually a really nice place near us it's kind of like a wooded forest kind of walk you can do and it's quite like uphill well the way I went was quite uphill so obviously I broke a sweat even more so I just popped on my purple little sports bra and then the cycling shorts which I would have showed you guys earlier on in the little try on clip also do you like my new cushions I got these in Dunn's um Dunn stores yeah so I got two of the yellow ones. Oh no. Oh yeah, me and Nathan had uh, some words because I bought these cushions, right? And I was like, one night we were here and we were eating chocolate muffins and I was like, Nathan, I was like, do not get them on them cushions, whatever you do. Next morning I wake up and what? He had gotten them on the cushions. Like one day after I'd bought them, I was not impressed. I was not impressed at all. I feel absolutely wrecked after that walk. I was gone for about an hour, I'd say, but I do think it did me and my brain some good. So I think we should fuel our body now again. I think it's time for lunch. I don't know what it is, but I'm actually still really full. That breakfast really filled me up, but also when I am feeling quite anxious and a little bit like low in myself, I don't tend to have the same appetite I do when I'm feeling like good in myself but I always feel like it's so important to still like force yourself to try and eat like just to get nutrients some. into your body I feel like a dirty tangy cheese Dorito like I was walking and I kept like a touch in the back of my neck and it was just like sweaty tad oh so gross I think I'm gonna have a bath tonight to scrub this off also Nathan got me this little bear for valentine's it's like made out of fake roses but isn't it like the cutest thing ever I'm actually obsessed with it like I love it so much. So for lunch, we're gonna have scrambled eggs. So I've got my eggs here. I'm um, probably gonna have like three scrambled eggs and then also have some sourdough toast. So this is the same one I showed you guys in my last What I Eat In A Day. Just the one from Aldi. Love this bread, so good, doesn't blow. 10 out of 10. So I'm just gonna pop some butter into the pan and then just let that melt and then I'll go in with the eggs. I feel like this will be a good lunch to have. Is anybody else like this? Like I'm so bad for this. So like I will eat a food, like for example, scrambled eggs and I will just become obsessed with scrambled eggs and I will eat scrambled eggs every single day for about three or four months until I'm sick of them. And then I won't eat scrambled eggs again for like another three or four months. And then I'll come back to the scrambled eggs and I'll be like, oh my God, I love scrambled eggs. And then the whole cycle repeats itself. I basically do that with all kinds of foods like i just become so obsessed with a food and i'll eat it every day until i'm sick of it i'm so easily pleased when it comes to food like nathan for example like he eats such a variety of foods but like i could just eat the same three meals every day for the rest of my life and be pretty happy at that <laughs> guys 
know me, you'll know how much ketchup I eat, but I always go with the 50% less sugar and salt because I literally go through a bottle of this a week. Like, I'm not joking. I've laid down on the bed and I don't think I can get up now, so I think I might just lay here for a while because me and my food baby need to digest. Okay, as you've probably noticed throughout the video, my nails are actually disgusting. So we're gonna do our nails because having pretty nails makes me feel pretty. I'm gonna be using this color. It's just from Essence um, and it's the same color that I already had on my nails, but it's already obviously came off. It's number 13, Legally Pink. And it's like a really pretty corally kind of color. I'd love if you guys could let me know some of your favorite YouTubers because every time I go into my subscriptions, it's like hardly anything there and I'm getting so sick of it because I love watching YouTube like it's my happy place. I'm really craving some sweet but we don't really have anything sweet here so I'm gonna bake. We're gonna bake some healthy-ish cookies. Okay so what you need is something to stir the ingredients in. So we've got a pot here Normally I would use four bananas, but these are quite big bananas, so I'm only going to use three, and preferably ripe bananas, but my bananas aren't that ripe, but we're just going to go with it. It doesn't matter anyway. Um, some oats, so the oats that I used for my breakfast earlier on. Um, then we have some chocolate chips, so these are just from Aldi. And then some vanilla extract, and then also a little bit of maple syrup. So the main two ingredients in these cookies are bananas and oats, so that's why I said that they're healthy-ish. Break the bananas up and pop them in your stirrer. Okay, so you're just going to break the bananas up, and then you're just going to get like a potato masher and mash them up as well as you can. So then we're just going to do a big cup of oats, so just fill up the cup, and we pour that in. And we're going to mix that all together and then we're going with the chocolate chips so you can kind of just use as many chocolate chips as you want i've just got like two little ends of bags here so i'm just gonna throw them all in mix that up again then we're just gonna do one tablespoon of vanilla extract mix that up and then last but certainly not least we're gonna do a tablespoon of maple syrup as well i cannot tell you how unreal these cookies are like nathan is obsessed with them like every time he comes home and i've made them he's like oh my god <laughs> and that is literally all you have to do like it's so simple and the great thing about these cookies is like if i eat the whole batch it won't go i really don't feel that bad because it's mostly oats and bananas so I have the oven preheated and then you're literally just going to take spoonfuls of the mixture and then just pop them on the baking paper and mold them into like a little circle, a little cookie shape. So then you literally just pop them in the oven for 15 through 20 minutes. I normally leave them for about 20 because I like them to be a little bit crispy around the edges and that is all you've got to do. So simple. I've got 20 minutes while I wait for my cookie so I thought I would do something I've been putting off for days which is... Ta-da! My laundry, my washing, my favourite chore, not. I hate washing. This basket is pretty much always, sorry, there's my knickers, overflowing. Like, it's actually a joke. I will do anything else all day, every day, but washing is just not the one. It's not. I'll iron, I'll do dishes, I'll hoover, I'll mop, like, you name it, but... So, we need to sort this pile into darks and lights. I have a problem when it comes to washing clothes because I have a lot of colourful clothes that don't mix well with darks but then I have like white and blacks but you can't put a white and black in with a white wash but if I put it in with the black wash then will the white bit turn black like oh it just stresses me out so i've got a top here that i've not washed yet like I, it's quite a new top i was just reading the label to see how you're supposed to wash it and it says hand wash cold hand wash are you crazy are you mad you no more see me hand wash my clothes and get out all right we're gonna do whites to the laundry room to the laundry room <laughs> I really do feel like that life comes down to just enjoying the small pleasures in life and the little things like even being able to have a shower with warm water like the amount of people who don't even have that luxury and it is a luxury or like having a fridge full of food or being able to go out and it's a beautiful day like just all them little things that we can often take for granted voila and this is the finished result i know they look a bit manky what is that that doesn't normally happen oh it's just some of the chocolate after leaking out but yeah these are literally 
unreal. You have to go and make them right now. Right now. My favourite way to have the cookies is when they like cool down a little bit. So I'll leave them for maybe like not even five minutes. And then when they're still really warm, that's my favourite way to eat them. They're amazing because they're like the chocolate's like still all melted and it's just heaven. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Oh my god, this is exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna have a bowl of green grapes because if not, I'm gonna eat the whole batch of cookies, which I have done before, mind you. So Okay, so this is my dinner. So I'm having a breast of chicken. I cooked a chicken yesterday, so I have a breast left over. I'm having a load of cucumber, and then I'm just having eight mini waffles. These are literally my guilty pleasure. They are so nice. You just pop them in the oven for like 15, 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, after I eat this, I'm gonna literally just try and do some of my tax return for an hour or so because it's something I keep putting off and I need to do it. It's one of those things where I know if I do it today, I'll go to sleep feeling really accomplished and really proud of myself. Do you know one of them things? It's like such a little thing. Well, it's actually not really little thing it takes bloody days but yeah i'm just gonna snuggle up then with nathan and watch some prison break so that is me today also don't forget to click the link down below to sign up to fabletics and become a vip member i honestly could not recommend them enough like they're literally genuinely the best actor i've ever worn and i'm not just saying that even after i'm not a brand ambassador for them anymore i will still be wearing and buying their clothes all the time without a doubt it's so normal to get down and it's so normal to be sad and like you know if you're feeling a certain kind of way that day is going to pass and tomorrow's a new day next week's a new week next month's a new month and it could be the best day week month of your life so you've got to hold on in there keep going if a day is hard just have a day just have a day and do what you can to get through the day and then miracles could happen from there but yeah i love you guys so very much thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you all in my next video